Super-Earths are massive, rocky planets that make up about a third of all exoplanets in the Milky Way. If such a planet were present in our solar system, particularly the region between Mars and Jupiter, its strong gravity would be able to push Earth out of the solar system. Super-Earths are planets that have a mass greater than Earth, but are less massive than the gas giants such as Jupiter and Saturn. These worlds are up to 10 times more massive than Earth and have radii less than 1.7 times the Earth's. These planets are believed to be the most common type of planet in the galaxy, yet our solar system lacks one. A new study aims to explain how such a planet might impact our own solar neighborhood. Astrophysicist Stephen Kane from the University of California, Riverside, has created a dynamic computer model, adding a super-Earth in the region between Mars and Jupiter. Obviously, there's a significant gap in this region which is occupied by countless asteroids, and current theory suggests this region is the remnants of a failed planet. Scientists believe that the asteroid belt was once a much larger structure, perhaps even a planet that was in the process of forming. However, due to the gravitational influence of Jupiter, the planetismal never fully formed and instead was broken apart into many small pieces that now make up the asteroid belt. Jupiter's strong gravity prevented the material in the asteroid belt from coalescing into a single planet. Today, Jupiter's gravity helps to maintain the asteroid belt's current structure and prevents the asteroids from clumping together. The computer model suggests that a super-Earth in this region would wreak havoc on our inner solar system within only a few million years. In the new model, the super-Earth was able to give Jupiter a nudge, which was enough to destabilize everything else, proving that it's a good thing we don't have such a world in our solar system, despite the astronomers' wish to have one here so they could study it up close. Depending on the mass and exact location, the presence of a super-Earth in the solar system could cause gravitational disturbances that may result in the ejection of Mercury, Venus, and Earth, while also destabilizing the orbits of Uranus and Neptune, potentially causing them to be flung out of the solar system as well. An Earth farther from the Sun than it currently is would be too cold to sustain life as we know it. A planet flung out of the solar system means a planet with no sun, thus no heat. Such planets would be lost in interstellar space, and instead of orbiting the sun, they would be in orbit around our galactic center. Our solar system takes about 230 million years to complete one orbit around the galactic center. The last time our solar system was in the same location, dinosaurs were the dominant species on Earth. Although the super-Earth in the new study was just part of a computer model, there are theories suggesting there might be a super-Earth lurking beyond the orbit of Neptune. The idea of a hypothetical ninth planet in our solar system, also known as Planet Nine, originated in 2014 when astronomers Constantine Buttigan and Mike Brown at the California Institute of Technology noticed unusual clustering in the orbits of some distant Kuiper Belt objects. The Kuiper Belt is a region of the solar system beyond Neptune that is home to many small icy objects. The clustering of these objects suggested the presence of a large and previously unknown object that is massive enough to influence their orbits. The researchers proposed that this object could be a ninth planet, with a mass estimated to be about 10 times that of Earth, orbiting about 20 times farther from the Sun than Neptune. Since then, other researchers have found additional evidence that supports the existence of Planet Nine, including the tilt of the solar system's plane relative to the plane of the Milky Way, the orbits of several other objects in the Kuiper Belt, and the alignment of the orbits of several small distant objects. However, despite this evidence, the existence of Planet Nine has not been proven. Super-Earths can have a wide range of properties depending on their composition and environment, some may have rocky surfaces like Earth, while others may be covered in oceans of liquid water or have thick atmospheres like those found on gas giants. Some may even have a combination of these features. Due to their size and composition, super-Earths may have a number of important implications for the search for extraterrestrial life. For example, if a super-Earth has a thick atmosphere and a strong greenhouse effect, it could potentially support liquid water on its surface and therefore be a candidate for hosting life. 
In addition to their potential for supporting life, super-Earths are also interesting to astronomers because they can help us understand how planets form and evolve. As for our asteroid belt, it may seem like a barren and uninteresting region of space, but it's actually a fascinating area for scientists to study because the asteroids in the belt contain valuable information about the formation and evolution of the solar system and may even hold clues about the origins of life on Earth. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.